the name of Jesus Christ. Quickly, your name and what God did. My name is Ola Bisilawa. I want to thank God for the grace given unto me to partake of the ongoing prayers and fasting. I've been on a job for about four years as a contract staff at same level. I've done a series of interviews in the same organization in order to be staffed. But on Monday, 19th of January, some of my colleagues began to call me that people have started receiving the messages for their offer. But I was not sent any message. But on that same Monday at the prayer meeting for the ongoing 21 days prayers and fasting, Papa said, we must change our approach. If our former approach to our prayers has not delivered to us the kind of results we desire. So in the course of my prayers in the midnight, the Holy Ghost revealed to me the new approach that is to, before then, I read my prophetic prayers only once after I've concluded my prayers in the midnight. But that night, he told me to begin to recite the declaration for the year three times in the night after my prayers, which I engaged on the third day in the morning before 12 noon. No and behold, on Thursday, 19th of January, I got a text message for my appointment. Praise the Lord. Church, church, praise the Lord. My testimony go like this. My name is Favor Destiny. My testimony go like this. I will start with this problem for 2002. You know, from eight years when I was born, I think our mirror kidnapped me to swear the air as I had some problem, making sense in the dreaming, sleeping. When I lied on the carpet, making love, I tried to resist this thing. I can't continue, continue, but continue. Each time I was working in the company, sometimes I found myself resigned for the company I was working. A time come, I, conf I went to the village, I comforted my grandmother. I asked her, I said, Mama, my father is, my mother is dead. My father is the what is happening among of us. We are eight children. Why is only me that I'm suffering like that? He now told him his name is my stubbornness that make me suffer all this like this. And I go back and ask my mother and mother. I say, why did my grandmother say this to me? He says it's the woman that killed my mother and I killed my father. He said I should walk away, go back to the city, shall be serving God. Since one day, I'll be going to church to church every day by day, come to church, all repented, the same problem. It came to reason, though, I came to Lagos again, the same similar problem. I was working in a company for a good about eight, uh, seven months. I was working, I can't give account for where I'm living. I resigned this month. I said, I can't continue like this my life forever. Why like this? Every day about getting salary, I end up begging, selling my property to eat. And I told my colleagues, he said, what if you want to resign? I said, I can't continue to live my life like this. Do you believe inside that salary, I come up part of my tithes? Part of my tithes, I, 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 I pay my tithes. I cry unto God. I say, God, deliver me. Yesterday, I was called. My grandmother is dead. The Goliath of my life is dead. Let's clap for Jesus. What was responsible for the stagnation is destroyed. We are at uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hallelujah. Mr. and Mrs. Adeban Wabiola. It all happened on the day two of the 21 day fasting and prayer. We returned from the zone very late that night. Then I saw my baby. I saw his rectum. I saw his swollen. So I asked the mother, What happened? He said, It has been like that. I said, This is not normal. But immediately I knew it was Ania. So I said, Do you know God can do it? He said yes. I said, okay. Before we go to bed that night, we lay hands upon him and we pray. And we prophesy that the last 21, um, uh, one night with the king, in the 21 day fasting and prayer, we are going to climb this exalted altar and share this testimony. Three days after I checked it, it was, not, it was still the same. Then I realized that I have to, you know, take it upon myself. I created a day to be off my, you know, work. And I was searching through the scriptures. At about, after one in the afternoon, God gave me a word in Genesis 1.31 that after God created everything he has made, he said, behold, everything was good. I said, so I knew I was never good in him. And lo and behold, I was echoing the word back to him. And after the meeting we had with Papa on Sunday, I returned, I called him, Damn Larry, come. 
He came and I checked the rec room. Everything has been normal. So I return all the glory. Take a command. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Ife Buche Obonna. I've just gotten admission into the National Open University of Nigeria in 2007 when a certain prophet who visited our house looked at me and said, I will not finish school. I could not voice the rejection only because that would sound disrespectful to my parents. I never saw that parent, that prophet again and would not recognize him anywhere. But the negative prophecy began to seem true as I began to face diverse challenges academically. In 2012, when I was to finally graduate, I found myself, myself among those who were not graduating due to incompletion of projects. I was passed from one supervisor to the other until, by God's grace, I submitted my project in November 2014. And during Shiloh, my graduation was my one-line prayer during the Shiloh prayer hour, that I must graduate this January. But it was as if the devil was saying, you forgot that you can't graduate. On the second day of the 21 days fasting, I got a call that they've been trying my number since the first day to tell me that my, my project and result wasn't submitted at all and my name wasn't in the graduating list. And then I didn't bother myself after that call. I concentrated on the fast after the news. I told God in prayers that you have to prove yourself true and also prove that you have called my father, Bishop J.B. Doyedeku. That same week on Friday, I got a call that another list came out and my name was number three in my department. Last week, Saturday, I did not only graduate alongside my class governor and other 2007 sets, but I emerged the only student in the 07 English department who graduated with a 2-1 second class upper division. Heaven or not, my name is Mrs. Fumilayo Fanibunyo. In year 2012, I was attacked. So this one now resulted to my neck. My neck was ticked for three months. Likewise, this my hand. I couldn't lift it up. I could not sleep for three months. So I was praying to God. Even during Shiloh of that time, I was all alone at home. I had to go and stay with my mom and be praying. So God brought me out. I came back to Lagos, December. So throughout, I couldn't know. I cannot carry anything on my head. I couldn't sleep anyhow I want to sleep. I had to sleep lying, my, my, laying on my back since 2012. I cannot use my hand to lift anything. So last all night on Friday, my papa said we should pick a point, I mean, one of our prayer points that we don't want to return home with. I said, God, I don't want to return home with this pain. I want this pain to end here today. So as we went for the feet washing, you know, the workers had to wash their face. I finished washing my feet, washing. So when I, my feet, when I now got to where they are changing the water, I found that I was carrying the dirty water, pouring it and bringing the clean ones. And this pain, as if I got to, I was supposed to start rubbing my neck and my hand with a balm. But all was not, this. it was not like that. And since Saturday, I've been sleeping the way I, could, I wanted to sleep, sideways. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, wave it to heaven for those great testimony. Father, we thank you in Jesus' precious name. Whatever you don't want to return to, tonight it will not go back home with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's be on our feet as we rejoice as the choir leaders in prayer.